Hey guys, we get a lot of requests for this video about how you can automatically get more Google reviews for your Google business profile. And what we're going to do in this one is walk through step by step exactly how you can do this using it, just a bunch of free tools. So again, 100% free way to get more Google reviews on autopilot for your business. Uh, so to start, uh, what we're looking at here is Zapier. It's a free tool uh, that you can use to uh, to ask your customers for reviews in an automatic way, or you can really automate any part of your business. If you're not familiar with Zapier, you should definitely check them out. Um, and we're going to use them basically to connect different applications that we use uh, to be able to automatically ask a customer for a review once they're done uh, doing something with our business. And uh, the way that it works basically is you pick a trigger and a trigger is something that starts this automation. And if you're using a point of sale system or an online booking tool uh, or anything else that kind of runs your business that you're already using every single day that has that customer information in it, whether it's an email address or a phone number, what you'll want to do is use that as the trigger. And so um, and so just search for that application uh, in here. Zapier has over 7,000 apps uh, integrated, meaning over 7,000 tools can send information into Zapier to then trigger something else. And so search for whatever that is. Um, but for this video, I am going to assume that you don't have any software at all and you just want to uh, add your customer's information to a Google Sheet. Um, whenever, uh, whenever, you know, you're done with them. But again, the better way to do this, uh, is to, uh, automate using your point of sale or booking tool so that it can just automatically get that information. And so here, what I'm going to do is connect a Google sheet. Uh, and I need to do some work on this first. So let me go over here to uh, a new Google sheet that I created. I just called it customers. Uh, and what we're going to do is add header information. So I'm going to say name. Uh, I'm going to say email and I'm going to say number. And the reason that I want these three columns is because I want to personalize the messages that I'm sending to my customers so that they feel as though I sent it uh, just to them. And if you only have your customers' emails, then that's fine. You don't need to put this number uh, column in. And if you know that you're going to do text messages, then you don't need to put uh, in this uh, in, in the email. Uh, and then I'm also going to add a column that says send. And I'll show you why that's important. Uh, and now I'm going to put in a test record. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in Joe. Joe's email uh, is joe at gmail.com. And his number is 121-111-222-3333. And then for send, I'm going to leave this blank for now. I'm going to show you why that's important. Uh, if we go back over to Zapier now, uh, we have Google Sheets connected, and we, what we now need to do is pick the trigger event. And we are going to say if there is uh, a new or updated spreadsheet row, and I'm going to pick this account now. Uh, now it's going to ask me to pick the spreadsheet from the dropdown. And now it's going to ask for the worksheet, and uh, there's just one sheet in there. Um, and now it's asking for the trigger column. And so this is the one that's saying, what, which column, when there's an addition to, should we should we action this? Uh, and so that's why we are going to use the send column. So basically, this means that nothing will happen uh, unless you put in something there like yes, uh, and you can put in more variables like so that you can just say like A or you know hit the keyboard, um, or you can make it so that you need to say something uh, specific. So we're going to go back over here and we're going to say the trigger column is send. Uh, and and to touch on that a little more, the reason we need to have a trigger column is because let's say that you're putting this information in and it's to Mary and you go to the next column. If you don't have that trigger column in, it's now going to just immediately send it using only Mary. It doesn't have the email or number yet. Okay. So moving right along, we're going to test that trigger. And you can see it found a spreadsheet row. Uh, it's row two. The name is Joe. The email looks right. The phone number looks right. Um, Cool. So we are all set. I'm going to say continuous selected record. And now it's asking, what do we want to do with Joe's information? Right. And so you have a couple different options now. What you can do is if you already use a tool like uh, MailChimp or Constant Contact, uh, you can 
you can send that information to them to have those platforms send out a review request, or you can even keep it very simple and use Gmail. And so what I'm gonna do is say Gmail, and I'm going to say send email. So now that we have the email that we wanna send it from, uh, I'm gonna say continue. And this is where you're going to customize uh, where it goes. So I'm gonna set the two, uh, I'm gonna hit this plus button, and I'm going to select where it says email. And you can see this gray area, it's showing the example uh, that it pulled. Um, but if you say email, it's just going to pull that new email address um, whenever you add a new, a new uh, column. So it's going to Joe, uh, you can BCC someone else if you want or CC someone, uh, you can set the from, uh, the from name. So if you want, you can set this to the name of your business, uh, the subject line, you can put in whatever you want. Thanks for your business. And then because you have their first name, what you can do is hit the plus and add their name here. And I would suggest adding their name because that will get a much higher open rate uh, than if you don't add the name. Okay, now we're talking about the body of the email. This is going to be something like, hi, and then again, throw in their name. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with that. Hi, Joe, thank you so much for working with us. Um, can you please uh, do me a favor and let us know how we did. It will really help our business. Thank you in advance. And then you wanna make it very obvious. Uh, and so what we're now going to do is get the Google review link. So if you go to your Google business profile, uh, so this is ours, and you say, ask for reviews, it'll then give you this review request link. And when somebody clicks it, it brings them to this leave a review box on your profile where they can just click uh, this and then, and then write the feedback if you're lucky. Um, actually, that's a, a good reason for me to show you um, that there are some other ways that you can handle this. So instead of sending your Google business profile link, if you're using uh, Page, the fully automated Google business profile optimization platform, uh, you can grab their review request link that looks like this. And when someone says that their experience was excellent or good, it'll ask what they like the most. And so here, you know, let's say they like the results. Page is going to immediately write a review that uses these keywords in the review. Uh, that the user can now just click this button to copy and then it brings them over to this uh, review box that I showed so they can just paste it in now and it'll have the keywords. And the reason why that's very important is because, and the reason that's important is because if you go to Google and you search for uh, best um, gym near me, you can see here that uh, Google is showing these reviews based on certain keywords being used in their review. So uh, you definitely wanna help your customers write reviews. And if you're not familiar with Page yet, definitely check it out. Um, so, but for the context of this video, we're gonna talk about free tools only. So I'm gonna go back over here, copy my Google review link, and then just paste it here. I'm just gonna end this now. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you, uh, Justin. And then if you have an email signature in your Gmail, then you can go and select it from here so that it looks like a nice email. And I'm gonna say continue. And here you can see it's putting together this email, it's picking up this person and it will automatically send. And so um, I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to skip this test just because you know we don't have that Joe at gmail.com email. Um, so so that'll now take it. So whenever you add a new customer to this list, so let's say Mary at gmail.com, put in their their information, and say anything in send, it's now going to pick that up automatically and email this customer uh, from your own email address, unless you hooked it up to any other tool. Um, uh, and then, uh, and then you'll just start to get more customers as, as you know, things happen, whether it's putting these customers into the Google sheet or it's your own point of sale or booking tool that's sending the information to Zapier to then send to Google. 
Um, and if you're only using uh, emails, then you actually don't even need to put in your customer's phone number here. You can leave that part out. Uh, however, um, let's now talk about how you can send text messages to ask for reviews. So Zapier has this really cool feature. I'm just gonna say add step. You would probably do either or, and you can even set up filters here. So let me let me show you something cool. Uh, I'm gonna say, um, uh, I'm gonna say paths by Zapier and I'm gonna add a path. And I'm going to say here, the path condition for path A will be only continue if uh, the number, actually, sorry, if, uh, I'm gonna say only continue if the, uh, email is, uh, I'm looking for it. Yeah. Okay. If the email exists. Okay. Um, and then for this one, for uh, plan B, I'm going to say, uh, only continue if the phone number exists. And the reason for that is because now what you can do is you can decide if you want to email this person or text them. And so if you want to email them, you don't put in the phone number. And if you want to text them, you don't put in the email. Uh, and so this now gives you both options. And now to send this text message, you're probably wondering, how do you do that? And I'm going to show you. Zapier makes it incredibly easy. So uh, what we're going to do is click on this action and type in SMS. And if you have another SMS platform, uh, you can use it. So if you're using Twilio or any of these other ones, um, then, you know, just click it and log into that account. Um, but let's say that you want to send it from your own cell phone. What you can do is click this SMS by Zapier option and then say action event, send SMS. And then what you're going to do, uh, if you haven't done this yet, is uh, verify your phone number. So you're going to put in your own phone number that you want to send text messages from. Uh, and then uh, they'll send you a confirmation code. And then that's all it takes to connect it. And then I'm going to say continue. You're going to pick that phone number that you want to send it from. Uh, if, if you want it to send from there, or you can have it send from a random one. Um, uh, I'm just going to set it to send from a random one. Okay. And here for the message, I am going to, again, go over here and personalize it. I'm going to say, Joe, thanks again for your business. Can you please take a second to uh, leave us a review? It will really help us. And then here, again, what you're going to do is get your uh, review request link from Google and uh, just paste it here and say continue. And what you can do now is uh, you can test it to make sure it goes through if you put in your own contact information. I'm going to say skip test. Uh, and the last thing that we need to do now uh, is publish this. And so this automation is now completely configured so that when I am done with a customer, you know, I'm, I've, I've helped them and, uh, you know, I've sent them the invoice they paid, or maybe you want to do this before they even pay. Uh, all that I need to do is put in their name. And if I want to send them an email, I'll put in their, their email and then put anything there. Or if I want to send them, uh, a, uh, text message, uh, you'll put in, uh, their name and their phone number, uh, and then just put in a value there. And it's now going to know which path you want them to go through. Uh, and so as you can see, it's kind of, you set it up once and then it's very easy every day or once a week, you just go in here and you add your customer's information so that they can get that review request uh, link and go to Google and leave you that review. And that's the exact process that we've done. We've automated it for ourselves and we've gone um, from about 30 reviews uh, nine months ago to now over 200 five-star reviews on Google just by being more proactive in how we ask for them uh, because you don't get what you don't ask for. And so um, again, this is if you want to use Google Sheets because you don't have any formal software. The ideal way to use Zapier is to integrate it with your uh, point of sale system or any other technology that you have that has your customer's information so that as things are happening in that software that you or your team are using, it then just sends it all the way down uh, to Zapier. Uh, so Zapier can then automate it. And actually Page has an integration with Zapier. And so uh, you can actually, instead of setting up the emails uh, through your Gmail, you can just have Page send those out for you. Uh, and so obviously, if you care about your Google reviews, you care about your Google business profile ranking, uh, and 
you should definitely check out Page to see how it can help you rank your Google business profile higher on Google Maps, uh, help you with reviews, and just generally help you get more customers. Uh, so hopefully you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it'll really help. Uh, these videos take a lot of time to make. Uh, and so I'd really appreciate that. Um, and if you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below and we will be uh, more than happy to respond and help you set up your own automations. Thanks a lot and good luck getting reviews.